Welcome to Drive TV Vancouver. I'm Selena Lohan and I'm here with Brock Tully, author and um, dare we say kindness guru? Um, <laughs> well, what I want to do is raise awareness for a kinder world, so I don't think I'm always so kind. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 got to be cool to be kind. You got to be. I think it's cool to be kind. That's cool a, to be kind. That's the message we're trying to send out to kids that it's nice. cool to be kind. That's awesome. Yeah. So um, here we are in beautiful English Bay, Vancouver, and um, just having a conversation with Brock Telly. So you woo. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of him. <laughs> Not to knock <laughs> to us go down. Off the path. <laughs> so you're promoting kindness around the world and. Um, and um, putting on your concert here, the uh, the World Kindness concert here in Vancouver, which is November 14th and 15th? That's right, Saturday and Sunday. And where's that taking place? That's at the Vancouver um, Community College Theatre on uh, Broadway, just west of Clark. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be exciting. You've got some amazing headliners, uh, some, um, some icons from uh, Canadian pop music, like... Um, well, uh, Susan Jacks. Susan Jacks. From the old Poppy family. Yeah. Are you going to sing her song? Which way are you going, going Billy? <laughs> <laughs> that was such a classic. <laughs> yeah, so she's one of our performers. Really, really excited to have her. And, and uh, Sherry Ulrich, that many, many people know, who she's done so much in the music scene um, in Vancouver here for other performers as well. Sherry Ulrich. Yep. And who else you got on the bill? Uh, people like Ron Irving, he wrote for uh, Michael Bublé and, and for Anne Murray and people like that. Most beautiful voice and songwriter, he is incredible. And his friend Michael Vincent, who toured all over the world years ago, and his voice and his songwriting is just amazing. Like the, I think other than James Taylor, they're two of my very, very fa favorite male vocalists, nice. believe it or not. Yeah. And then uh, young Michaela Slinger, she's been singing in the concert since she was six. This yeah. is the ninth annual, and she's 12 years old. Wow. And so since she was six, and when she was three, she sang the um, national anthem for the Vancouver Canucks. That she is the, out of this world. So yeah, amazing. And then people like uh, Veronica Isa, mm -hmm. and Veronica, she. Love Veronica. What a story! And people here won't know of her, and and when they hear her, they're going to just be blown away because uh, Veronica was on the streets this is kind of she's not um, she's open about this so it's okay that I share it but she was on the streets um, Maine and Hastings downtown east side hardcore really hardcore she's been clean and sober for a, a year and she was from Uruguay and uh, when you hear this woman sing it's unbelievable our backup band is led by Bill Sample who was um, music director for David Foster, David Foster for yes. eight years he did that and then um, he per performed with Celine Dion and Brian Adams and all these people. And when we had a rehearsal the other night, when he heard her, because she was going to do something a cappella, now they're going to play something together. But um, he just, to see the look in his face, because he's hurt, hurt everybody. And so. Wow, that is so amazing. Yeah. And how did you bring all these people together? Is it kindness that you have in common? or Just, you know, this is the ninth annual when I kind of have my own little um, kind of uh, thing that... I want to put uh, hearts on stage, not egos, and they're yeah. all people that I just really, really like, not only as people, because that's important for me, because it's a lot of work <laughs> producing a show like this, and a lot of stress and stuff, so I want people that I love working with, that are easy to work with, that are really good people, that are caring, and, mm -hmm. and you know, for me, all of them are really talented, because I care about the audience, that they have a great show. but every one of them really thinks about each other they're going to be backing each other up and just their whole team attitude you know that it's not about them it's about the whole show and it's about the message that we want to send out about kindness that's what i love i love that now and now you say you're not always kind but <laughs> i think you are no i t you should see me in traffic sometimes and you won't no i'm i'm i think i'm a pretty nice guy you know but it's interesting. I think it's all our responsibilities to, you know, raise awareness for a kinder world, and and that we don't always have to be perfect or have it together. Like that's why I love people like Veronica Isa, mm -hmm. and I've got my challenges with addictions and different things that I've gone through. And I think it's just about being real, and that we can falter and, and grow from that. So, I'm not always kind, but I think we all need to be a part of raising awareness for a kinder world. And I, the. My message is a lot to stop the things like the bullying and the violence and the abuse of children or the 
um, caring more about our environment or what we're eating or, or um, animals and, and everything, but it's focusing on the solution, which is kindness. And what I have been doing is speaking at schools, and I have bracelets that are kindness in nine different languages. I don't know if you saw those, but this is them here. And they're kindness in nine different languages. And what the kids and adults do is they put them on their left wrist, and when they do an act of kindness, they move it to the right wrist, and then they do that every day. So they put it back in their left wrist in the morning so that they get that feeling of being kind every day. So it's really focusing on, on that feeling of being kind and, and how good it feels. I and it's cool it. to I be kind. It. Yeah, it's cool to be kind. It makes it cool to be kind, but it also puts that focus. You know, um, I think kindness probably gets pushed down on people's agendas sometime. Like, hmm, I'm going to be kind today or, mm. you know, I'm going to go to work today. I'm going to pay my bills today. Um, but, yeah, it gets pushed down a little bit. Yeah. And, and if you bring it up and make it part of your consciousness to, to be kind, I think that's... Who, who wouldn't get that? Who wouldn't need yeah. a little more of that, right? And I know so many people, you know, that are like in the workplace or, or whatever. People are so stressed out right now. And by being kinder like that, God, it just makes work so much more enjoyable. Everything we do is more enjoyable, you know, that we're all in this together. We need to support each other and be there for each other. And so that's what it's about. And, you know, and I do a couple other shows with amazing people, Jeanette and Jonas um, from Abacadabra. Um, but we do a show called Kindness Rocks in the school, nice. and then I'm doing a, an event called One of a Kind Stories as well, which is people's stories of how they've overcome a challenge to make a difference. And so I have a performer and uh, two stories in the, and at each event. So, Well, it's amazing. And, and then you're also an author, so where do you get the time to do all this <laughs> changing the world? You know? Well, you know, it's, I, I don't think it takes much time. But like I write, people say, well, because I've written eight books, called one or a series called Reflections, but they're little books of thoughts. So I'm not a writer that sits down and writes all these big long books. So they're little thoughts that kind of come to me and... And then I speak at, at, at events as well. And what's the, the name of your, that, th your big book? The, the Reflections are my main little books of thoughts. Okay. Those are my main one. But then um, I have a book um, based on a bicycle trip I did around North America. That was way, way back. And then I've actually done three. And the last two were in the name of kindness, actually. And I went all over the United States through 33 states and seven provinces to raise awareness for a kinder world. So I just did one, actually, just got back from eight months on the road pulling a 70-pound trailer all over the United States. So. Wow. Gosh, yeah, wow. it's exciting. It's but, you know, it's when you say it takes a lot of time, Selena, but it's, it's interesting because um, when you do what you love, you don't have that sense of time so much. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when, you're, when you're not happy and you're doing things you don't like or have passion for, it seems like you're just so busy and all the time. But... I think when we, we, we're on purpose or we do what we love, when, when we're doing what we love like that, then we're excited about life again. We don't see, t um, you know, it's just, we, we don't have enough hours in the day in some ways. That's true, you're right. When you feel like when time is flying, when you're having fun. It is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to have more of a miserable time cause, so time slows down because it's just going way too fast for me right now. <laughs> I, don't mind like getting, I don't mind getting older. I, I love where I'm at now, but it, time is just going way too fast for me. Wow. And you're originally from Vancouver, right? Yeah, I love Vancouver. I was brought up on the North Shore. Oh, same and here. And live right here in the West End. Yeah, I grew up in North Van too. Did you? I was, yeah, West Van. And, yeah. And, uh, but I've spent a lot of time in the States and mm -hmm. in other places, but I, I, I always seem to come back here and what's better than this, eh? What is better than I this? I mean, look at this. Please. We're so fortunate to have the mountains right here and everything, so. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're going to wrap it up with Brock Tully and his World Kindness concert. And um, Can I encourage people to go to the website? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's give the website. If, if people go to worldkindnessconcert.com, mm -hmm. so worldkindnessconcert.com, they can find out all the bios of the performers, how to get tickets, the venue, everything's right there, and it's November 14th and 15th. November 14th and 15th in Vancouver, worldkindnessconcert.com. Right. Brock Tully, and I'm looking forward to seeing Veronica play because she, I've got my eye on that star. Yeah. And um, um, we'll see you at at the concert. And thanks oh, so much for spending thank you, Selena. Thank spending you for time all you're with doing. us. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. For Drive TV Vancouver, I'm Selena Lohan. Have a kind day. Take care.